uproar over the winner of the biggest loser who some are saying lost too much weight rachel fredrickson shocked fans when she revealed a body that went from 260 pounds all the way down to just 105 pounds juju chang has a story for us your current weight is it took just a matter of months to get to this moment you lost 155 pounds after a torturous journey of sweat and struggle, 24-year-old Rachel Fredrickson was declared the winner Into on NBC's world. Biggest Loser finale Tuesday night. He won! A $250,000 grand prize for a 155-pound weight loss. Congratulations! That some are now saying went too far. And the show's trainers wow. seem shocked. And on social media, an outpouring of concern for her health, some criticizing her for losing too much weight. This is a game show. It's not a healthy model for how you should be losing weight. What we recommend is one to two pounds per week, not the kind of enormous weight loss that she, that she experienced. Fredrickson dropped 60% of her original body weight, the most in the show's history. Like all contestants, she followed a program of rigorous diet and exercise, constantly monitored by weight loss professionals. But some doctors question the program's safety when it leads to such extreme results. Having a prize of $250,000 to lose weight puts pressure on people to do things that might not be good for their health. As for Fredrickson, now 5'4 and 105 pounds, her BMI, or body mass index, is slightly below healthy. But despite the criticism, The Biggest Loser stands by their message, stating, we remain committed to helping contestants achieve healthy weight loss and live healthier lifestyles, and to inspiring viewers to do the same. Two people who looked more than shocked at the transformation were the other team's trainers, Jillian Michaels and Bob Harper. The pair took to Facebook late right? yesterday saying, we're not comfortable commenting on Rachel's journey because we weren't her trainers and weren't given an opportunity to work with her at any point. Any questions about the contestants on The Biggest Loser should be directed to the show's producers. And Fredrickson tells Access Hollywood she's never been you more proud. Now it's not even a number, it's just a life. I just feel alive. For Good Morning America, I'm Juju Chang, ABC News, New York. Well, we asked you at home to weigh in, and you did. You had a lot to say. Here's just one example. One viewer tweeted, Watch the finale with my teenage daughters. Disturbing to reward emaciated young woman with cash prize dangerous message. But another viewer wrote, she did look a little thin. It's her body, though. As long as she's healthy and happy, it's all good. Great job, Rachel. So let's bring in a guy who knows a, a more than a thing or two about weight loss mm -hmm. reality shows, our dear friend, extreme weight loss transformationist, the specialist and the author of the book, Choose More, Lose, Choose More, Lose More, Chris Powell. Good Great morning. to have you here with us. And so, okay, this young woman set a record. This is the most in the history of this program, and that program. Uh, the percentage of body loss. What do you think about all of it? I mean, I, clearly what she did was impressive, to lose that much weight. And she, she did what she set out to do. I mean, that really is the name of the game, is to lose as much as you can in as short amount of time as you possibly can. Of course, in my opinion, though, the, the, the one thing that raises red flags is how fast she did it and how far she went. That does raise red flags, mm -hmm. but she's playing a game. We need to keep that in mind. That's the biggest thing. This is not necessarily real life, but she's playing a, a very real life game in the long run. Mm. That's the catch-22 yeah, here. Yeah, you've talked about this as well. We all know you have to change the way you think if you want to lose mm -hmm. weight, but is it possible that you know, she's taken this too far, that it's turned into kind of an unhealthy obsession? Well, losing the weight. Absolutely, and I'm glad you brought that up because it is, yes, it's about changing the way that you think and most of the people that we work with, they come from the overeating side of things, but we also need to remember that that is an eating disorder. It's an unhealthy relationship with food. It is so easy to switch over to the opposite end of the spectrum oh. and maintain that, un that unhealthy relationship with food by simply under eating. We deal with this a lot in our, throughout our process as well, working with people on the show and off the show. It's easy to overeat and it's easy to under eat. The true challenge here is finding that balance. But then again, throw a two hundred fifty thousand dollars cash prize in the mix. There you have it. Yeah, right. competition, right. and guess what? It's a mm -hmm. slugfest to lose mm -hmm. as much right. as you can. Right. Yeah, very okay. tricky stuff. All right, Chris, we thank you so much. <laughs> thank Good you to guys. see you. Good to as see always. You.